Hello everyone, this is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. This was my first dive in underwater metal detecting video that I spent all day cleaning out. And not just testing my equipment out. Up first, we got a beer can. We are going back to October 2019 at Magana Cook Lake. I was still pretty new to recording while I was working underwater, and you can tell. Back then, I was still digging everything, however, I was just showing off the good finds with a couple of dangerous finds thrown in the mix. I ended up pulling out all kinds of trash this day, enough to fill a five gallon bucket. Let's get into it. This was a cool find. We got a phone. It's an iPhone. I did take this home, put it in rice bag for more than two weeks to see if I could get it working again. That way I could find the owner and give it back. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the phone to charge, nor could I get it to turn on. This is one of the most dangerous things that I found. A broken glass on the surface of the swimming area. Anyone could have cut their foot on this thing. Always wear water shoes or dive boots to protect your feet from getting cut. The next cool find was this knife. It was right on the surface. I'm assuming it was dropped by whoever took out the dock. I saw so much stuff on the surface of the swimming area this day. From trash, to a t-shirt, to this knife. Half of the stuff I didn't even need a metal detector for. I could have seen it if I was just snorkeling. I just eyeballed the Go down and check it out. Next target, I eyeballed a heart. Right next to that, I found another knife. I couldn't open either knife until I got home and cleaned them out. They were full of rocks and mud. However, I can use them both now. We got a beer can. That's five cents. I ended up picking up about 50 cans and bottles out of this lake this day alone. I found this bobber floating on top of the lake, nothing attached to it. I dug this target for about 10 minutes before I found it.
all of that for a nail. <laughs> Because of all the silk that I stirred up in the water, I couldn't tell where this quarter was. Get a US coin. It's a quarter. This next find was freaking awesome. We found a ring. Unfortunately, the cameraman on this day stunk at his job. A number of targets that I forgot to turn on the camera or point the camera in the right direction. Rookie mistakes. This is the first time I've ever found a dog tag. I found out when you find a dog tag, by law, all military dog tags must be immediately mailed to the Secretary of Defense. I will add the address in the description of the video if you ever need it. Once again, I had to adjust the camera. It wasn't even pointed in the right direction. This was one of my favorite finds of the day. It's a silver cross. Once again, I forgot to turn on the camera until after I found this ring. It's still cool. Nothing too fancy, though. Here's another awesome find, although bad camera work. I eventually learned how to do a better job making sure my camera was on and actually facing what I wanted to record. This is a silver stamp 925 pill container. We got another quarter. I always wonder how people actually lose these products. Like this next find, it's an iPod. I haven't even seen one of these for years. I did put this in rice also for about two weeks, but I couldn't get it to work. As I said before, I also had about a five gallon bucket full of trash that I did not even show in this video. I threw it out before I left the lake. After the first couple of days at McGonagook Lake, 
I decided to show a lot more of the trash that I pull out of lakes and ponds and swimming areas for future videos. Let's take a look at all the good finds and a few bad things that we pulled out. Here's most of the finds for today. Had a bunch more garbage, but I ended up throwing it out over at McGonagook Lake. I did find an iPhone. It's kind of an older one though. And then uh, an iPod. I haven't seen one of those for five years. A couple of old beer bottles, uh, beer cans, and a broken bottle. Which that would have been awesome if somebody stepped on that swimming. I did find dog tags. Or dog tag. A couple of rings. This is kind of cool. It's super heavy. That's pretty cool too. And that's pretty heavy. It doesn't have any markings on it. Pretty cool. Uh, the quarter was from 1967, and uh, this is a new one, 2015. Anywho, I'll be out there again tomorrow. Now this is some real treasure. This is a sword that was used in the Civil War. This was found in Elba, Alabama. Unfortunately, it was found already broken in half. The wooden handle has a crack along the entire handle. It has a 36 etched in the handle. I couldn't make out the letters on the bottom of the sword handle, but this is one of the coolest things that I've ever held in my hands. AEW out.